Yeah, they're still going at it. They're still going at it. They started as soon as I picked up my phone to come into the kitchen to do the previous video. All right, and they've been at it for a few minutes. Okay, so again, you know, like I said, they'll try to do all kind of shit, you know, to try to keep you under surveillance and all the stuff, you know. They'll play that the, the manipulation game, the, the deception game. It doesn't, you know, it, look. <laughs> look, you hear them? Right? Yeah, these are the predators on the New York uh, Predator Department. Uh, I tell you, it, it's it, it's amazing. You know, it's amazing. You know, that's why I document this stuff so people can see. Because you know, they're all trying to paint this narrative. They're all trying to paint this narrative. Again, always trying to find reason to manipulate and to deceive, so they can, you know. Um, also, earlier there was like uh, send me some a message about oh strange behavior. What me recording that these psychological attacks that strange behavior. That's not strange behavior. That's me recognizing what is being done. You see, again, when you have people in positions of power who can do whatever they want to do, or think they can do whatever they want to do, and how they hide their crimes and mask their crimes, right? And they think, or they believe they can get away with it, right? This is what they'll do. So they'll label you. They'll say, oh, you, you, you jealous, you this and that. Listen, I've never been a jealous person. Okay? Never. And jealousy is a part of human nature. And I'm not jealous of Pam or whatever, whoever. I'm not jealous of that. My concern is, again, is the way her mindset is. And the fact that she and I share children together. Okay? And I would like to think that, well, I know she doesn't. She doesn't care about my well-being on, on any level. It's just about her. She doesn't really care about the kids' well-being on any level because it's just about her, okay? And so she will do things to not make it look like she's a bad mom, whereas I don't have to do that, right? I know I'm a good father. I don't have to pretend, okay? That's just the way I am. So now they got the helicopters. Here are the fire trucks. See, because this is what they were waiting on. And this is what I, you know, when I did the video, because again, I, w I expected this. And this is because, and this is why I'm doing this recording, because I want to show you guys exactly what it is that they do. So they're still out there making noise. They just heard the, the fire trucks. All right? They're still they're a little bit, they're a little bit further away, though. All right? Because again, they don't want the phone to pick up the noise. Right? So, again, they are, like I said, I know exactly what it is that they are doing. I know exactly what it is that they did, how they're doing it, the technology that they used to do it, that they doing it on, and how they've been manipulated, not just me and other TIs, but a lot of people in my community, the black community, who is the number one target for these weapons, right? These mind control weapons that can condition you when you're sleeping. Okay? So yeah. So as I'm speaking, you guys are gonna hear this enough for the car honking and then the the, the the very short burst of the police sirens, if you can hear it. Just turn your, your speaker up all the way and you will you know you might hear it, right? But it gets very active like this. And particularly like I said when you know I text her to say, you know, what time is your flight coming in so that I know. Right? And she hasn't texted me back. I mean, you know, I don't care who you with. But it's the, you know, the, the all, she's all been like, even when we were in a relationship, she got her friends and, you know, won't even say, hey, you know what, I'm on my way home and nothing like that. Right? Even when we were in a relationship, I, was, I would watch the kids for her. Why she go out? Why she go out now with other dudes? Okay? And I just said to her, listen, you know, I'm I'm only here, I'm not spending the night. I keep telling you, I'm not staying. 
and you know we would agree on a time for her to come home and she wouldn't even call to say she would always come late and after she comes she would be like well I wasn't thinking about you I was just having fun you know I don't think about you when I'm having fun this is what I had to do deal with for, for a number of years before I said no no more so I'm, I'll, I'll watch the kids if she has to go out away for a job but that's it because I've you know the history that I've been through with this woman and I still give her respect I still give her my concern because she is the mother of my kids but what they are doing to her and the, the mindset that they've created within her by using these honey traps these dudes because they try to do it with me with women but it doesn't work it does but they'll do it with her because they understand how they condition her they understand the delusional mindset that she has the narcissistic personality that has gotten worse within her mindset all right and so they take full ad, full advantage of this full advantage as with most of the black women in, the, in our community you know is that delusional mindset they don't want to know the truth they don't want to understand the facts you know if a white man comes and he said this and it makes him feel good then uh, us brothers we're, we're a lot of us have, have woken up and we're trying to walk we uh, awaken our brothers and sisters but particularly our sisters you know I was watching who was it um, Shahrazad Ali the woman who wrote the black man's guide to understand the black woman and the black woman's guide to understand the black man she said you know <clears throat> as with any um, you look through our history right when the enemies want to infiltrate the society who do they go to first who do they manipulate first it's the women because the women are easily manipulated easily okay and so you see that what has been happening within the past three decades the mindset of a woman has been infiltrated infiltrated by these white races with lies and they believe it they tell them lies to make them feel good they go to church the pastor tells them lies to make them feel good because the pastor wants their money and in this society have corporation will lie to women because they want their money and women fail to understand particularly in the black community our black sisters our black queens fail to understand this they fail to understand it and they ignore the reality they ignore the destruction of the black community they ignore the destruction of, of the family they, they, they ignore the destruction of their own mindset you look today go look at the statistics right of black women compared to other women and tell me that something in don't seem right okay anyway talk to you guys in the next video